That's interesting, because it's public property, but that's interesting. You know, I don't see your concern. You guys have, there's four guns between you guys. Where's your concern? I understand that. I understand that. that you cannot I am challenging that code, ma'am. That's what I'm doing here today. Okay, I'm challenging so that code. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we are at the Village Center here in Larchmont, New York. Incorporated into this center is the fire department, police department, as well as their village hall. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas and to ensure that our government officials and public servants respect that right. Let's get into it. This guy's over here watching me. How you doing today? Hey, uh, can I help you? Uh, no, I don't need any help. Uh, who are you? I work here. You work here? Oh, okay, thanks. You work here? Yeah. Oh, what's your name? Why? Who are you? Oh, no, you came up to me. I'm no, just asking. I'm wondering. You're, you're in a private lot. I'm just wondering what's going on. There's no signs making this private. Okay. This is, this is public property here, right? Yes. Right? Okay. I'm just wondering why you're taking pictures of the cars and that. Yeah, just taking video and picture of the car, exactly. This is like, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story that I'm working on. Okay. You're not going to tell me who you are? I would just like to know who I spoke to since you work for the police department here? I am. I'm a detective. I work here. You're a detective? Can I get your name? What, uh... <laughs> I'm just, I just looking for your name. That's all. I mean, I'm just wondering what's going on. That's it. Yeah, and I'm just wondering what your name is. That's all, really. Just because you talked to me, and I would like I like to know who I spoke with, especially because you're coming. You're a police officer making contact with me. Yeah. So I think I'm just wondering I, why you're taking pictures of our police cars and our lot here. Yeah. No. Yeah. I I, I just like, told you that I am that I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, okay. but again i would like to know who i spoke to since you are a police officer who made contact with me a detective so if i can get your name and shield number i would appreciate it okay can i get your name well no i'm an, I'm, I'm a member of the public and i and i don't want to i don't want to have to identify myself to you but as you know a public employee you know you should identify yourself to the public that's all just because I, I didn't come up to you asking you what your name was randomly i just you made contact and i just want to know i don't see what's the big deal it's public information right I'm just wondering why you're filming. But you, you keep wondering that, but and I, I've i answered that question, but I keep wondering what's your name so I can know who I spoke to and you're not giving me your name. I don't understand why. Why wouldn't you? I'm, I'm just... But you're wander, not... Watching you wander through the lot, <laughs> taking pictures of... Unless cars. you identify yourself to me, you could be lying. I don't know you're a police officer. Just because you have a gun on your hip, that doesn't mean you're a police officer. You could just... Anybody could put you a gun on... You're lying about who you are. You're telling me you're an independent journalist. I'm not what the one carrying lying? a gun. Okay. <laughs> There's a difference. If I was carrying a gun, I'm sure you'd want to know who I was, right? Okay. Is that not fair? You right, would. Give me a second, bud. All right, well, I'm going to keep on about my business, all right? So, uh, this detective here did not want to identify himself, yet he wants to come over here with his gun and figure out what I'm doing, but yet you can't identify yourself to me. I don't understand. So we got the license plate over here. Hey, how are you? What are you, what are you doing? Can I help you? No, I don't need any help. Can I get your name and badge number though? I can't get your name and badge number, no, ma'am. What are you doing in the back parking lot? I'm just, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, ma'am. Okay, about what? I, I don't want to release that information until it's published. Okay, well, there's no reason for you to be in the back lot. It's police department and employees only. Ma'am, can in the I, back can lot. I, that's, that's not true. There's, it is. there is. This is police parking. Can I show you the signs? And village parking only. Yeah. Yeah, it's village employee parking only. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not parking, ma'am. I'm walking. 
Ma'am, I would ask that you use a little bit of de-escalation because okay, well, you, you came in kind of hot. hot. You came in kind of hot. I'm going to ask you to leave this is that pub lot. This is public property. No, it is not public property. This is private property. There are police vehicles back here. That doesn't make... The, what law is that? What law means... It's a village code. It is private property. Can you articulate that code for me? Here. Off the top of my head, no. I can go inside and get it. Can I get you... Can you stop covering your name and badge number? Can I get you... I, how am I supposed to respect your authority if I don't know who you are? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? My name is Booty, badge number 227. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for identifying yourself as a law enforcement officer. I appreciate that. How you doing today, sir? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Sure. Irvine. Irvine? 16. 216? 216. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And apply for a filming permit. Pum, pum. Pompilio Shield 28. I'm sorry. Thank you for identifying so yourself. You Upstairs Appreciate that. To the second floor to the clerk's office. Yeah. And apply for a permit to film. What? What? Why would I? It's because freedom. I have freedom of the press. It is not freedom of press. This is private property. It's fenced off. It's, it's this is not fenced off. That says authorized personnel only. No, that's you just. If you are filming on village you, property, you you literally just lied. Excuse me, I'm not lying. I, that's not what that sign minute. says. This is it's fenced off, correct? Do you see the fence back? There is no fence here, ma'am. Perimeter. Yeah. If you are filming on village property, yeah. you must get a permit for video. What law is that? That's a village code. Okay, calm down. So you can go upstairs to the second floor. Yeah. And you can apply for a permit to be videotaping on village property. The, the First Amendment gives me the right to film pub not, in public. Not on village property. It is a village code. Village, a village of Larchmont code. If you're going to be enforcing code videotaping. on me, I would like to know the code, you please. But you're 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 telling me that I'm, I'm telling you yeah. that you have to have a permit yeah. to videotape in a the village according of to a, in court, according to, to a law. Of code. It's code. Not a law. It is a code. Okay, and you cannot articulate what code you that have is. To go upstairs and get it. Okay, so are you giving me are you giving me a lawful order to leave? Yes, I'm telling you you cannot videotape on village property without a permit. Even if you were making a commercial or you're filming a movie, any videotaping in the village of Larchmont, you must apply for a permit. On public property? On public property. Okay. This I is need... public property. It's also, it belongs to the village of Larchmont. Yeah. There are police vehicles and other things that are not accessible to the public here on this property. In order to videotape anything on Larchmont village property, anywhere in the village of Larchmont, you must apply for a permit. Where clerk, where are you getting that clerk. where are you getting that information from, Sergeant? Our code, our village code. The one you don't know. Give me a second and I will get it for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I get your name please? Now? Detective Hammond. Detective what? Hammond. Hammond. Thank you. Thank you. Shield one oh one. Shield one oh one. Thank you, Detective. I'm going to stand over here on a public easement just in case I was given a lawful order apparently so you've been you've been very you've been very cool with me my, my first name's Sean yeah nice to meet you guys nice to meet you sir That's interesting, because it's public property. But that's interesting. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not doubting, I'm not doubting your code that it you're reading. Pro public property within the village of Larchmont, you must obtain prior approval by the village of Larchmont Board of Trustees. That code that is completely is, unconstitutional. It's not unconstitutional. It is a village code. Village boards are allowed to constitute their own codes. 
Man, free, freedom of press means that there's no restrictions on it. I will be going up there. I will be going up there. I will. I will be going up there. I will. This this is not this is definitely not your property. This is a public this is a public easement. You can go upstairs and apply for a permit to videotape. Yeah. So I just want to clarify. So anywhere I go in the city, I have to be I have to have a permit to film. Just just for you clarification. Must have a permit. Yeah. Whether you are on public property or private property within the village of Archmont. Okay. It's so even code. even even from but what I have the right to film the police from New York you State know, law. You are not allowed in the back parking lot on pro public property mm -hmm. to film without prior approval by the Board of Trustees. Okay. If you are filming commercial in your private residence, you must apply for a permit. That's interesting. That's that's in direct violation of the it Constitution. Is the village code. The village is allowed to have their own code. If you have an issue, they can, it, you can take it up with the village. I will. No, they can have their own code, but they can't have a code that violates the Constitution that you took an oath to, ma'am. with the village clerk. You, I follow the rules of New York State and the village that I work in. You should, that is a code but the number one rule you should follow is the Constitution. You didn't take an oath you to, to, the, to the codes. To the you did, clerk. I understand, but you didn't take an oath to the... I'm not even in your park. I'm not even in your parking lot. No, I'm currently not. This is a public easement where I'm at right now. This is not a public easement. This is property of the village of Archmont. You must go upstairs to continue filming to the clerk's office and obtain permission by the board of trustees in order to continue videotaping on public property belonging to the village of Archmont. That's I I can't I can't even believe those words are coming out of your mouth. Well, it's in the village code. You can go upstairs and talk. I'll be getting I'll be getting a copy of that. Yeah. I will, ma'am. I will. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks. Take take it easy. Thanks. You too. You too. I'll definitely be fighting that code because that's okay, it's so unconstitutional, ma'am. Respect res respectfully, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, I'm on. I'm definitely on a public sidewalk right now. So if you are you are you telling me you're going to arrest me if I? Okay. I asked you to go see the court, not the court, court, the village clerk. Yeah. To get uh huh. Permission to videotape. I'm asking you nicely to stop videoing. You haven't been nice since you got in here. Can I ask you a question, ma'am? Oh, and then I'll go up no, there. No, I'm not answering any more questions. I'm telling you to go see the. Well, I'm gonna ask you anyway. I'm gonna. I'm not answering any more questions. I'm gonna ask you anyway. What happens when you violate a code? What are the repercussions for violating oh, Largemont Village? Yes. It's actually an arrest. It's an arrestable offense. You get it. Can you give me one of the, Can you give me one of those? I'm not giving you an arrest ticket right now, no. S but I'm, I'm not. Giving you a warning to go see the court clerk. I would like an arrest ticket. We don't give them out when people ask for them. So what would, what would con I'm continuing to film? I'm breaking the code. So if I'm on, you're saying that I can't film. I'm on a public sidewalk. Let me make that very clear. I'm on a public sidewalk, and if it's against the code for me to film. You are filming in the back lot where there is police apparatus. So, so ma'am. I understand that, ma'am. So I would invite you to write me up on the code, ma'am. I would invite you to do that because it's unconstitutional. It's unconstitutional, ma'am. It's unconstitutional, and I would invite you to write me up on it. I am not. I am not. I am not even on village property anymore. Well, the sidewalk technically belongs to the village. It belong technically belongs to the people, ma'am. It doesn't belong to the people. It belongs to the village. Ma'am. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try and be reasonable here. It's not against you. It's against that code. And I'm gonna continue to okay, film so what I could seen from public. Ma'am, I'm not gonna stop doing that because this okay, is unconstitutional. Ma'am, I'm, I'm gonna stick up for what I believe in here. I believe in the Constitution. I believe in freedom of press. So if you need okay, to write me, if you need me, if if you would like to. You can arrest me or write your ticket of arrest, whatever that is. I invite you to do that. Whatever you need to do. I'm not moving from here, ma'am. I'm not moving from here. You would be violating my constitutional rights, so I'm, I'm inviting you to do that if you so choose. But that would be a violation. You will lose qualified immunity, and I will have litigation for this village of Larchmont, ma'am. I'm not going to stop videoing what I can see from public. That's ridiculous. This is public. I'm not gonna start videoing. I'm asking you to stop videotaping. I'm telling you no, ma'am. I'm telling you no. I'm telling you no. I'm telling you no, ma'am. I'm 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 politely refusing.
I'm refusing to, that request. That is an unlawful order. I'm not going to be bullied out of my constitutional rights. I invited you to write up your ticket, arrest me, whatever you'd like to do, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand right here on public sidewalk, filming the police, filming what I can see from public. It's my constitutional right that you guys swore an oath to. You didn't swear an oath to that code, ma'am. Yeah. And to, to the codes of the village of Oh, okay. So so if you took an oath, honor your oath. I'm Do it. You a warning, so I, have I don't want a warning, to, man. Well, guess what? I have discretion and I'm using my discretion not to issue you a DAT. I'm asking you to leave. Okay. To go apply for a permit to prove the village. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not leaving, ma'am. I'm making that clear. I'm not leaving. Public sidewalk. Not breaking any laws. Will not be leaving. This guy knows. He's been nodding the whole time. He knows. He's in, he honors his oath. There you go. I found one. There you go. He honors his oath. He honors his oath. He's been nodding. If you go back. He's been nodding and smiling the whole time because he honors his oath. This sergeant is complete tyrant. Complete tyrant. We're not gonna back down from her unlawful order for her codes. Sean, you understand the concern here. We walked up here a lot. We have no idea who you are. Are you taking pictures of I told you I told you my first name. I told you my purpose. I told you my job. I've informed you about the law and the constitution of the United States. I, I, I can't. I can't see the concern, sir. It's the middle of daylight, and you guys, I, I have two cameras on me, a body camera, and, and, you know, I don't see your concern. You guys have, there's four guns between you guys. Where's your concern? I know, you. I mean, I don't have a gun, sir. So you guys have, where would you be concerned in this? How does that factor in, logically? How would you be concerned when you guys have the weapons? Because I have a right to. I'm, I'm a journalist working on a story. I have a right to. You can't impede my rights. Even that village code, I've invited you guys to enforce that. If you guys want to do your job, do your job. But that's not your job. You'd be violating my rights here today. That's not, and that, and I don't know. So, so, I mean, I hope you don't. I would hope, I would hope not, sir. I would hope not. At first, you were, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even tell me who you were at first, sir. What's up with that? Where's, where's the transparency? You walked away from me without even identifying yourself. That's not, that's not, that's not right. I don't know who you are. I don't. I identified myself. Hopefully they do not violate my rights by writing me a uh, an arrestable ticket for simply filming in public. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing here. They're concerned, but yet they're, they're the ones with the they're the ones with the weapons. I don't understand that at all. There's no signs marking this restricted in any way. It says vehicles. I'm not in a vehicle. Yeah, sure. Do you plan on ever getting permits? Or no, no, no. I'm not going to get a permit to film in public. Okay. No, Just no. Is anyone else? Is this similar to anything else, like any other village codes? No, no. I've never, I've never, I've never run across a village code that is in direct a violation of the constitution like this. Another, like on the, for state parks, you, mm -hmm. have, you know, when I used to work there, they had um, state where for commercial activities. This yeah. Is considered commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh huh. So what do you you said? State what? I got when I went to the state parks, commercial. Okay. He was required. I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering. No, no, no. Yeah, probably they they could regulate commercial. Like if I was shooting a movie or something right. like that. That's what, that's what yeah. That was, if you're that's shooting, that yeah, yeah. If you're shooting like a movie or something, but my that's on my I'm an investigative journalist, right. so that's freedom. That falls under freedom of the press, right. which can't be violated in any way. So that's why I'm inviting your sergeant. She read me her code, right. 
And I understand that, but I'm inviting her to arrest me on that code. So that way, because when she does, I can then take it to court mm -hmm. and get that code changed because that's in direct violation of the constitution. And that's what I'm really here to do. I'm here to make Have sure. No, no, no. I plan to, I plan on it, but your, your sergeant's making a big deal right now about me leaving. So I have to stand my ground to show her that I'm not going to leave because I have a right to do what I'm doing. And, you know, I've offered her to do, to enforce her code, you know, and that's all I'm going to, I'm just going to peacefully exercise my rights here, sir. That's all. That's all. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. Thank you. You've been very cordial to me the whole time and I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. We're gonna stand out here on the public sidewalk and wait for that uh, that walk of shame from this sergeant, the drive off of shame, because she deserves it. You all watching this video deserve to see this tyrant drive away from here without any sort of th any sort of legal repercussion to me, because she's a tyrant. She vi she's trying to violate my rights, threatening me with village codes for simply being on public property. So I'm inviting her to do it. I'm inviting her to violate my rights because there will be legal action taken if she does. These officers right here honor their oath. Very good officers. I'll be putting in commendations to both of them. Very good. complete tyrant looks like a uh, looks like her threats didn't work today guys her threats and bullying wow some sergeant they got there I appreciate you what you guys do I want to shake your hands no, thank I'll you shake your hand. I'm all right, man. thank you thank you Pleasure you have a good one thank you thank you thank you appreciate it Found, I found one. Try and have a good day anyway. Yeah, all right, I will. Thank you. Stay safe out there, guys. I'm fine, I'm fine. All right, yeah. All right, we're going to get out of here. The point was proven. She didn't do anything for me filming in public. These officers were very cordial. Well, it's Treasurer, Taxes, Water Department. You got business in here? You got business in here? You need who? something? You need, I'm asking, you got to need something in here. You need who? something? Who, who are you? I'm a maintenance guy. I'm asking, you need, you got business in here. What, what does the maintenance guy have to do with me, my business? Well, because if you're not in here, you don't have no business. You don't belong in the building. I got. You don't have any I, I don't want to. Can, can you can you can you calm you're down? Right, can, can, you, can you can you calm can you calm down and step away? Hey, no, Please. So we're, we're closed for business right now. We're in the construction, so you, it's there's there's no public beyond the point out here in the lobby. But there's, there's no a there's there's a sign. Yeah, there's a sign. Calm down, guy. Hey, you don't belong in the building. You don't got business. I do have business. Don't tell me what my business is. You should get back to work. Right here, sir. So yeah, let me see the sign. For, the sign's right there on the wall. Access behind this point for both business only. It's supposed to be here as well, so it fell down. So oh, if you need okay. something, you can wait in the lobby. We can help you right away. Um, but we're under construction, so. Yeah, I wanted to speak with somebody regarding a, a village code that an officer just brought to my attention. Okay. So if you if you want to sit in the, in the lobby, and uh, yeah. but can you see why I went back there? There there is no sign right. saying yeah. that. Well, we're the but you're, you you're but you're telling me that there is no public access past this. Correct. Entryway. The same the, the, that sign there. Would yeah. Be the same for right here. Okay. This is the public space right here. Okay. All right. Great. So just hang tight. You, what, what, sure. What's I'll wait in here. Question. I just had a code about there. The, I had a question about a code that I was recited by the. Uh, that was recited by a sergeant of Larchmont Police Department, okay. uh, saying that I needed. Um, permission to film? Yes, you do. Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to talk to somebody about that. Okay. Because well, I, I think it's in direct violation of the U.S. Constitution with okay. freedom of press. I'm right, an investigative right. so journalist. Why, why don't you review the code online? You can yeah. make your interpretation. You can schedule a time to come in. And we can talk about whatever you feel you need to talk about. Yeah. How do, can I schedule a time now to come back? Uh, sure. Let me just see if Brian has a calendar open. We'll sure. Probably sometime next week because we're in the midst of construction. Okay. Great. I'd love to set a time and talk.
so should we get to Friday, next Friday around 10? Friday around 10. email with your, your credentials and what the question is, and then we can, you know, we can talk with you. We already advised them that our car is closed. Yeah. We have to apply for a permit to videotape on those property. Exactly. Exactly. And it's easily accessible. If it's commercial purposes, it's one fee. If you're a student, there's no fee. But we just need some paperwork and some credentials. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, but um, the, the credentials is the credentials is provided by the United States Constitution by freedom of press. Okay. I don't need to provide credentials of anything. We all have freedom of press. And I'm just gathering content to disseminate to the public. Just like I've told the sergeant already, if it's against the code, I would like to be charged with that code so that way i can take this up in the proper channels which would be courtroom we want to facilitate not hinder anyone yeah so great well that code we, that code hind code, hinders well, people read it yet, right? so she read it she read it to me okay she read it to so me again if you're allowed to videotape your world like you can wear a gopro and walk around and do what you want to do but if you're going to like use this building or use this in any production or any anything further than just you know your own log of life then you do need a permit for that. And yeah, it's but, built property, but no one, no one is. Yeah, but no one, no one is saying, no one is saying that I'm making a movie or anything like, or a commercial of anything. I'm an investigative journalist okay. gathering content to disseminate to public. Okay. That's also great. in the back lot, videotaping all the cars and yeah. everything in the back lot. And we explain to whatever I can see from public, I can videotape. Gate here is it's private gated property. in. It's yeah. private property. Right. It's so not private can, property. You right away. You can do whatever you need to do from the streets. The how, how can a government agency be private? It doesn't make any sense. It's an oxymoron. You're saying because that it's private yeah, property. But yet, it's it's, it's a government property, agency. But it's not accessible to the public. There are it is accessible to the public, ma'am. As I explained to you earlier, there are police vehicles and apparatus for the fire department and other things housed in the lot. Yeah. You cannot enter from the park. That's why there's a gate there. So mm -hmm. it's only for personnel of the village. You cannot come Ooh. into the lot. And walk around. Yeah. Well, well, ma'am, ma'am, this is this would be Larchmont uh, property as well, right? Yes. The, the building I'm in. So I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm gonna. I will. I will let you know that I. I will let you know right now. I do not have any approval from anybody in the board of trustees. And I, I and I'm continu and I'm continuing I, to I film. Understand that you want me to make the arrest? I'm telling you that I have discretion. I'm giving you a warning. Smart. Smart move. Smart move. And I am choosing not to make the arrest today. That's, that's very smart of you, Sergeant. Thank okay. you. Very smart. So I'm going to ask you to leave the building. Are you under threat of arrest? Are you telling me to leave the building? No, I'm asking you to leave the building. But uh, you're, I don't understand. You're asking me or are you telling me? So There's a difference. I want to I get the law down. You're a law enforcement officer. I just want to make sure that we're clear on the law here. Right, right? we're close to the public because we're under construction. You said pass there. This is the, if, you, if this was a some blue sky day where we weren't doing any work, this would be the area of which you would come in if you needed help and, and figure out what's going on. And if uh -huh. you a particular department, we bring it to the department and then you leave. Obviously with COVID con concerns, we're, you know, I appreciate you wearing your mask. And then we're doing some work here in the building and we just can't have you wandering around and so forth. So if you need something, if you get a parking permit, you want to pay a ticket. Well, I'm gathering, I'm gathering, I'm gathering content for a story. That's what I need. So okay. I'm going to be in the public areas of this building, gathering content for my story. If you tell me that I can't go past there and I can't go past there well, because it's restricted. Told you that there Can I get your name too? I didn't get your name. Justin Patino. Justin Patino, Vandals so, Administrator. So the idea here is if you need help, if you need something, we're yeah. going to gather it. But other than that, we're not open to the public. So uh -huh. you can't be up here. Out of, out of this, you know, out of the building, we've got boxes everywhere, we're working on stuff. Yeah. So, you know, if you need something, I'll give you a, a permit form, if uh, you need a calendar, I don't know. What but respect, need. Res respectfully, sir, that if, if the doors are open and this is a public building, that means you are open to the public. Sir. Right, to help someone and then yeah. they're on their way. Or so if somebody, you know, or if somebody's conduct, I'm not, not who, uh, this is not, I have a purpose here, sir. That means that wouldn't be loitering. I have a purpose here. I'm not just standing According around. To who? According to who? According, According to the United States Freedom of press. I'm gathering content for a you story in a public place. Yes, I understand you can gather your content, but the Village of Larchmont Code clearly states. I understand that. I understand that. That you cannot video. I am challenging that code, ma'am. That's what I'm doing here today. Okay, I'm so challenging that code. I suggest that you file a FOIA request with the village, obtain a copy of that code, yeah. and then you can. I'm sure I can get it online. I'm sure I can get it online. But what better way for you to enforce the code? I'm telling you to. You're you're telling me about a code that you're not even enforcing, ma'am. I'm asking because you to. I have discretion. Okay. At this and and all I'm asking you now, so you're. Okay. In the building. Okay, I'm not going to cease videotaping. If you're telling, if you're ordering me to leave the building, I will leave the building. If you're ordering me to leave the building, he can wait in the lobby if he likes. You can wait downstairs the lobby in the lobby. Is, is open to the public. You can wait in the lobby. This but, is not open to the public. 
it, of COVID restrictions. Right. So you feel free to wait on the it, it, it sure is open. It, this says access beyond this point for village business only. Right? right? That's the sign. Well, I'm and, revising that for you, sir. Let's okay. Let's so you're, you're, changing, you're changing the restriction of, of public. I'm trying to accommodate you. Okay. Right? I, you need space to gather your information, and I want to try and accommodate your request. I really don't know who you are and what you're, where you're obtaining. But in light of your sincere approach... The lobby is going to be available to you. You can sit down in the lobby until four o'clock this afternoon when we close the doors. For so you. I can't, I can't sit in here. And this is the courtroom. No, this is under construction. You're not allowed to videotape in the courtroom, which you did when you came up the stairs. Yeah. There's so what, 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 you're not what law is to that? Videotape in the courtroom. What law is that, though? I can get it from the court clerk. You are not allowed to videotape in the courtroom. Probably when it's in session, ma'am. That's probably no. what that means. Actually, court is open to the public when it is in session. You yeah. are not allowed to videotape in the courtroom for safety reasons. Okay. People plot and plan things. You cannot videotape. I'm, I'm, I got it. I'm getting, I'm getting, a, I, I want to submit a, a Freedom of Information Act request. Okay, we'll get you the form and bring it downstairs. I will why, give you the form. Why can't I just go handle my business? Because you are not allowed up here. It is closed to the public. The village administrator already told you. So is somebody going to give me service? They're going to provide me with the You're form? You're going to get the form right Okay, now. great. The village clerk is printing it out. Great, great. If a piece of construction debris falls and hits you, that's yeah. an issue. So nobody, we're not even allowed up here. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then when I, when I, thank you. And when I uh, fill this out, I give this to who? You can scan it or email it. Scan it, email it, the fax, everything's I'd rather, I'd rather bring it back personally. So, so where, where would I go? To bring it into the police department at the window and we can facilitate bringing it upstairs. So they take, they take a FOIA you request at the police department sure. for the, the village. village administrator and so we will let them know downstairs. That door is open 24 seven. So you can go in there anytime. You get okay. It. You Thank, thanks. Thanks, Justin. Thanks. Take Once care. You enter the door, we cannot videotape inside police headquarters. I will be doing that for sure. For you sure. Cannot videotape inside. I'm, I'm telling you, ma'am, I'm gonna be doing okay, it. That's fine. I'm gonna be so doing you it. Go out those doors right there. Have a good day. I'm going right now to the police station, just so you know. To film. Exercise my first amendment right. Desk officer over here. Hey, how are you? How are you? You guys got a small uh, lobby area here, small man. Festival, yeah. <laughs> small lobby area here, man. For a big guy like me, I feel I could feel claustrophobic. <laughs> uh, well, I just wanted to see what you guys got in here. Yeah, Take care, man. All right. Take care. All right. Stay you too. Well, we made our point. There was really nothing, nothing to see in there. Filming fee because that is for commercial only. two thousand a day. It's for commercial shoots, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. But fill out this form in its entirety, provide a certificate of insurance, and the village will review it and get an answer to you extremely quickly. No ma'am, I don't need that. Issues. I don't need that. Okay, well you're telling me that you want to film, you need to have a permit to film. No, I don't. I'm telling you I don't. The village of Larchmont Code requires that you have a permit to film. I, I, under, I understand that, but the, the United States Constitution law. gives me the, the inherent right to film. But the village, so yeah. you have the United States Constitution, mm -hmm. then each state has their own constitution, and then each village and yeah. jurisdiction has their own rules and regulations. So what makes you think that a village can supersede the Constitution of the United States? We're, we're, gonna get to the we're just going to give you this. I don't want that, man. Okay, well, I'm trying to accommodate what you want. Is, is there anything else we can help you with? No, you, 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 guys, you guys are good to go. Okay. Appreciate it, Justin. All right, sir. Good luck. If you have any questions, you can give us a call, email. Oh, I, you'll be you'll be hearing from me soon. Okay. You too. All right, guys. So we're just getting out of the village center here in Larchmont, New York. Wow, is all I can say. Wow. 
cannot believe that sergeant really thought that filming on public property, I needed to get permission or I would be arrested. Very funny to me how when I invited her to arrest me, she wouldn't because she has discretion over these kinds of things. I'm sure that's the reason, ma'am, I'm sure. That sergeant was nothing but a tyrant and I'm gonna hold them accountable. I'm gonna mark Larchmont, New York into my calendar and into my notes to come back here and fight for that code to get changed. Completely ridiculous what's going on here. They have a code that prevents people from filming without permission in public on any grounds owned by Larchmont Village. Completely ridiculous. I cannot believe it. We still have a lot of good officers out there. As you guys saw, the two officers who responded with the tyrant sergeant honored their oath. Very respectable men, very cordial. Completely ridiculous out here. We're gonna hold them accountable. Stay tuned, follow up to come. As always guys, stay safe, God bless. See you in the next video. Long Island Audit, peace.